All right, Prairie View AM head coach, Darren Brown, to the right of her, Duran Washington, and to the left of Coach Brown is Jeanette Jackson. Coach, you will open up with a statement for the questions. Well, I, I just think overall tonight's game was a great collective win. Um, one thing that, that we've been successful throughout the conference, um, we're going on runs, we won a seven game winning streak at one point, a five game winning streak at one point, was getting uh, more than two people involved in our offense. Um, the presence of Shamaya Brooks was very, very key tonight, um, as well as Alexis Parker stepping up some offensively. Um, and you know, and also limiting them to one shot down in the stretch where what put us in position to kind of make runs tonight. Overall, you know, I have to give this team credit for being so relentless um, and, and being so, so determined. Uh, you know, they're very determined. It's a determined group of young ladies. Lorraine Washington, uh, to my right, is, is one of our only seniors that, that you guys see on the floor playing. And, um, you know, her presence and, you know, she has a dominant force on defense. You know, with kids like uh, Lorraine out on the floor, it's going to be hard for you to be able to, to, to set up an offense. Question. Question. Coach, you mentioned you know, Brooks and everything inside. I know she had some nice blocks and some big rebounds, but it seemed like your guard play was really, really good today. Well, we rely a lot on our guard play um, throughout, you know, throughout the season, throughout a lot of games that we played. Um, Jeanette Jackson right there, uh, averaging 19.2 points a game. Uh, Gabrielle Scott, which, you know, her legs were a little, a little tired tonight. She couldn't give us much offensively. Um, but we, will, we, we rely heavily on our guards. We do uh, strenuous guard works to prepare them um, to get shots off. They shoot well over 500 shots a day. Um, and, you know, when you got kids that can shoot the ball as, as well as Alexis Parker, as well as um, Jeanette Jackson who can drive the ball like Lorraine Washington with her speed and her quickness, it's going to be hard to defend. Um, the one thing that I have to say about Jeanette that a lot of people don't know is that she's just not a set shooter in this league. You know, she can create a shot. There's not a lot of players that can get face guarded and can get denied night in, night out like she can and still be able to have 20-point games. They can't take her offense away from her. Um, and that's one thing that I have to commend her on. She finds a way to score the basketball. And that's important with our success. All right. This was, this was it. This was either tonight or it was over. What did you tell yourself going into the game as this may be your final game? Um, going into the game, I just um, did things I did previous years with my other teammates, like watched the video, you know. Um, it was just saying how bad do you want it? Do you want it as bad as, you know, to breathe? So, yeah, I just went out there and I told the team, I got y'all, you know, just follow me, just listen. I've been here before, we relax, and we're going to be good. Lorraine, speaking of that, uh, I'm looking at this all conference list and I know well, no, I'm using that I mean, did you use it as a motivator for yourself I know coach used it as a motivator but did you take that person yes sir okay I just didn't have to get it out there because um, it, it proves that a team can work regardless of how you're viewed is how you view each other's teammates and so I know and coach I want you to reflect on how you use that as fuel to get ready. She said, no, I have, you know I'm so happy. You know I'm so happy. <laughs> well, well I, I gave a speech to the young ladies uh, before the game, and I told the team, Lorraine Washington is the reason why Prairie View won their first tournament championship. Uh, and she's one of the guards that's in this conference, and I say this respectfully, is that she has been looked over for four years because of the fact that she doesn't block shots, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't, it, this is her first year serving as a as an offensive person in our offense uh, as far as getting getting points and scoring the ball. But you can put Loran on their best shooter, on their best offensive person. And you can find, if you go back and look at the statues of who she's guarded, she's going to hold them to their average night in. To me, as her head coach, I feel that that's what makes her the best defender on our team. You know, this league, you know, they, they – they may judge things on, you know, on other situations from other avenues, from other facets. But for this team, I'm going to put Lorraine on their leading scorer. And I expect her to hold them to their average. And that's a challenge she loves. She's been doing that for four years. And she'll tell you, put me on their best player. I will shut her down. That's her mentality. Well, we saw that tonight when uh, Tucker got in the game. And we know she, she was killing PB from Breeze at Purdue. 
and you did put it in lockdown. So my, my next question was the status of Larissa Scott. She had strong uh, time in today. How's her shoulder? I know she took her sleeve off during the course of the game after the first couple of uh, free throws. How is she right now? Well, she's good. You know, it's, it's, it's just a process. You know, she's going to have to have surgery um, postseason anyway. Um, you know, she can only go as far as she's allowed to go for herself. Um, she took off the bandage because she felt it was restricting her. And, um, you know, she wanted to have that full range of motion without restriction. Uh, but Larissa is one person that I have to commend because she's in pain. She's definitely in pain. I know she's in pain. And I asked her how she's doing. She said, well, Coach, I'm going to be okay. Coach, I'm fine. But, you know, this team is relentless, and they're going to work through it. They're going to work through it. We have a lot of other bumps here, nicks there. Um, you know, Loran is just getting over a sinus infection, had flu symptoms last two weeks. You know, and they don't want to stop playing. They don't want to stop playing. They're not ready. They're not ready for this season to be over. All right, all right. We actually got Southern tomorrow. You don't stop tonight, but you have Southern tomorrow. Uh, how are you going to um, get ready for them? Well, I honestly feel that, you know, uh, the teams that we played and lost a, a tight game to maybe four or five points. We lost to Southern 13, um, our first game, uh, and then lost to them 10 on the road. It was mistakes that we made. You know, going back looking at that film, you know, we've gotten a technical foul here and there when we shouldn't have gotten it. We've given up a rebound here and there um, when we should have secured rebounds. We pushed the ball when we, when we should have been, you know, trying to set up a half-court offense. So we have to revisit this film tonight to look at what works for our offense, to go back and look at the film against Southern. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to come out and defend. We're going to have to jump out early. And it's not all about runs. It's how you respond to runs. You know, you can be up 10 or 15, and this is March. So now let's, I told the girls one day in practice about 15 times, it's March, it's March, it's March. I said, so, you know, you guys have to elevate your game and play on a whole nother level. And that's what they've been doing. Speaking of playing on another level, all-conference, Jeanette, how do you see going into Southern? What do you think we need to do to, to get that win? Uh, like Coach said, we need to do the little things. It's like rebound and slow the ball up. We play our, t our uh, tempo of the game, and we need to just execute and hit shots. Got time one more question. 